Hello my crafty friends, this is Sandra Buse and welcome to the Scrapbook Pal channel. Today we're going to create a tutorial with this adorable stamp set from Ariel, Island Time. As you can see, these are the most adorable critters. Look at them. So you have there the elephant, the hippo, the sloth, and all the extras for the island. You also have the island stamp, uh, island dice, the coordinated dice. So we are going to use, like always, the Misty stamping tool. I love to always lay all my stamps, the ones that I think I'm going to use, which is normally the sentiments and all the big elements. So what you're going to see me doing here is just laying in position all my stamps because I am going to color them. You can use any alcohol markers or you can use even watercolor, watercolor um, you know, pencils or whatever you have to color your images. I love to use my alcohol markers, so that's what I'm going to do here. But before that, um, I'm just going to stamp all the images that I think I'm going to use them, all of them, or maybe most of them. So they have those little tiny ones that those little tiny, tiny stamps, as you can see there, is going to be for the signed and the stamp set. I'm going to use it later. You're going to see how I'm using it. So this is the first time, um, I mean, this is the first time that I'm stamping with this, with this stamp. So it's new. So that's why I love to use my Misty tool because that will help me to do it twice in case it needs to be done twice and it keeps it just in the same position. So I'm using here my black tuxedo memento ink, which is perfect for alcohol markers. So there it is, just perfect. Now we're gonna start coloring and I did it already offline. I, I, I wanted to do it in camera, but I didn't realize that my camera was off. So, but there it is. There are all of them there. They're super adorable, cute. These are all my images and the little sign there where I'm going to stamp right now. So those little tiny stamps that are there are super tiny. And to tell you the truth, I was a little bit nervous. I was thinking, it's gonna be maybe kind of messy. Is this gonna work? And let me tell you, it worked perfectly. I didn't have to try it no, just only one time and it was great. So for that, I use a blog, just a stamping blog that you can have there. So I use again my Memento ink, my black tuxedo, and they're super, super tiny, but these stamps are, re are really good stamp, very good quality from Ariel. So there it is. It says island. There's so many options for you in the stamp set. You can pick time, island, here, many other words that it comes there. So you, you have a lot to choose from. So the next word that I'm gonna put, it's the word here. So just very simple and perfect. Island here. That's what it says in this sign. So now we're gonna start building our scene. So here we are. Now we're gonna start building our scene and for that I use this super cool, a must have, let me tell you, a slimline border die from Ariel. As you can as you can tell there, it has everything. It has some waves, the cloud, grass, I don't know, you name it. It has everything for your scene. So what I did is I used the cloud die set and I cut it in, um, and I just cut it in a very thick uh, cardstock. So to make it kind of like a template and I use my tumble glass oxide ink to start building my sky. So I use this uh, blending tool. I'm gonna link all the items that I use in the description box below of the video. So I like to move my stencil or my template, you know, to to different sizes, to different sizes. Just make sure that it doesn't look very, um, you know, uh, it doesn't look like it's the same in each of the sides. So I like to move it around and kind of give a different, a different shape or form for my clouds. So look how look how beautiful it looks already. I love to use this technique. If you have this die, I think that would be perfect to create your own templates for grass or you know for skies, waves, whatever. So this is a must have for sure for me. So I'm done with the sky. Now I'm gonna do the waves. But before I like to use the squeeze lemonade oxide inks for the top. You know, just to put a little bit of yellow because, you know, it's just kind of like a sunset. So just a little bit, very, very subtle. 
and now we're gonna do the ocean for the ocean i picked another one that looks like a wave this is slim, part of the slim line borders and this is how it looks but if you see the other part like i don't know maybe the negative part you know of that thing that part the other side this is how it looks so that looks more like a wave to me so i use that one and I also use the top one, so you will see what I'm what I'm telling, what I'm trying to say right now. So for that, I color it with that salty ocean from the oxide inks, and that's what I did. So I'm gonna put kind of like a three different layers, and I'm doing this because I wanna use the boat that it's in the stamp set, and just give the impression that it's in the ocean, and put the island on top of that. So I'm using my liquid ink, which I love this art glitter. Uh, glue that is really really good I use them in all my pro in all my and all my uh, projects so here it is this is my ocean and like and as you can see I cut and use both of the parts of that die cut of the wave and I'm just gonna position it there at the bottom of my card now it's a little bit extra in the bottom so but that's okay you just use your scissors and just cut the extra out so after this I think I'm ready and as you can see there are two different tones of blue I like my sky a little bit more uh, soft color and then in the bottom for the ocean a little bit stronger the blue color so in the middle there's the island super adorable of course if you have an island you must have the palm tree and here I'm positioning all my images and trying to figure it out if I want to put the the elephant or the sloth they both are laying down so they can be both in the in the sand so I like this this how this one looks so I'm gonna just leave it up to that we're just gonna start gluing each of the pieces now for the critters I decide to use my 3d foam now I love this 3d foam also because they have different size of squares since these images are, are kind of small so I use the smallest squares and for the other um, images I just use the glue to make it flat but like I said for the critters for the hippo and the sloth I use the 3d foams so how adorable is this I think it's just super cute I love it so we are almost done we also gonna put a sentiment into our card and there are so many to choose from look how adorable it looks just putting those 3d foams it just give them a little bit of extra so here are some of the sentiments it says wish you were here um things like that so here i almost forget to put the beach ball so i wanted to put it in the ocean no maybe next to the hippo no at the end i decided to put it next to the sloth so it kind of matches my umbrella so that was that was good so here I'm I'm decide that I'm going to you know to emboss my sentiment and for that I use the Versamark watermark ink I use the white embossing powder and I also I use my powder my EK powder that it will take all the statics out of my cardstock so make sure that that my embossing powder doesn't stick in the parts that I don't want to so using this um, heat gun it just does the magic it melts the powder so i'm just cutting these um just to give a little bit of this form like the fish tail form i think that's the name of it and i'm ready i'm ready to stick this one in the top as you can see i like to play with my with my um card so i didn't know if i wanted to put it in the top maybe in the middle maybe in the bottom so at the end i decided to put it there in the top so we're almost practically done with this card as you can see it was a very simple card but i think it had so many details on it and just to make a little bit extra i put the white foam tape all the way around to give a little bit more dimension into the card so there it is you guys this card is practically done i hope you enjoyed it i had so much fun creating this card because of the cute images because of so many ways that you can use them and like i said these dies and stamp set as just a must have in your stash just the last part put them all together thank you for watching i hope you jump into the scrapbook pile and do some shopping you won't regret it you will love it for sure 
Thank you, you guys. Have a wonderful day and enjoy that picture at the end. Bye-bye. Thank you.